30, it's okay. What's up, all of you out there? Mm. This is the world. Um, I just got off of the set of Piranha. I mean, when I say that I'm not a star, I'm just an extra. But, one thing special, I did, I was in the water today, and Elizabeth Shue was announcing that there was an emergency situation going on. And she drove past me on the sheriff's boat about, mm, say seven times, and she looked directly at me all, all the time, and, uh, told us to get out of the water, uh, that was for the film, that is, told all the spring breakers to get out of the water, so, mid, they may use it, they may not, I don't know, that's the film industry, but nevertheless, I am extremely tired, I don't know if this will show up in the film, but, we're on camera, but look at how sun burnt I am. It's like a beat. Um, so I did request to go home early today, and they let me. They were nice enough to do that. Uh, Um, they said I could come back tomorrow. One thing I'm not very happy about is I have to wear... I'm supposed to be a frat boy. I have to wear a loincloth. I think it's because it's some sort of initiation within the movie. Either that or the frat boys are just acting silly. And even though that's totally against what I would do, it's, it's acting. And I'm just going along with it. Um, beggars can't be choosy. Um, but poor little Fooby. He's upset being cooped up all alone. Where are you? She has to be here for two weeks and she ain't Mrs. Scarlet. See, that's all she thought when I came into the motel room. She was asleep, but this is not as bad as she's been yesterday and today. Before that, she was just flipping out. Totally. But, uh, nevertheless, uh, all the, those negative things aside, I am grateful to be on the set of a movie. I'm overhearing lots of terms and definitions and learning how it works. And it's a, it's a good experience overall. So, yeah. And then I get to be eaten by a fish. Hopefully not in a loincloth.